in case if you want to make setter dependence injection secondary data type setter dependence injection mandatory <coughs> you can apply dependency check value objects objects if you apply objects then it is mandatory to inject secondary data types in case if you want to make setter in case if you want to make primitive setter and secondary type setter method both mandatory you can go through all but here we have one disadvantage did you find the disadvantage here is there any disadvantage with this concept if i apply simple what happens it is mandatory to call all primitive type setter methods in case if i have only one single attribute okay this single attribute if it is mandatory if i have only one single attribute if this single attribute if it is mandatory then if i go through simple then it will ask this primitive type setter method as a mandatory in case if i have 10 primitive data types here from the 10 primi uh, primitives if you required one or two if you required only one or two attributes what about the remaining without passing remaining values can we able to inject no right so then so here the main disadvantage with this dependency check attribute is what if a class if it contains like five primitives from that five primitive data types if you required only one or two if you required only one or two primitives if you apply dependency check for your bean what happens it will ask to pass all the five input parameters so compulsory if you required or not must you need to pass so if you if you take this use case if you have a simple dao class if you have a simple dao class this dependency checking is not recommended why it is not recommended in case if you have a class class dao in this dao class i have if i have four dependencies private string driver url username password yeah okay if i have four strings and if i have one get connection method if i have one get connection method here and if you want to connect with only mysql database in case of mysql database it is not mandatory to enter without username password also we can connect with mysql right right yes so without username password also i can connect with my mysql database so here i can load only driver class dot for name just you can load driver and by using driver manager dot get connection just by giving url you can create connection object so driver and url if these two attributes are enough to your application and if you have four setter methods here if you have four setter methods for a driver url username and password if you have four setter methods for this dao bean class if you apply dependency check simple what it will try to ask it will try to ask to pass these four attributes so if username password not required why we should pass from xml file not required right in case if you apply dependency check simple for this dao class then it will force us to pass all the parameters these all parameters types are primitive types so if you apply dependency check for this bean bean id dao bean class name dao class for this dao class if i apply dependency check simple my required values only driver url so here just i want to pass property name driver and value 
only driver value and URL only URL values I want to supply here only two inputs I want to give from here one and two but the remaining two inputs also it will ask if I apply dependency check sample so then to solve this to solve this they given one annotation again it's this dependency check they given one annotation at the rate required annotation by using that required annotation also you can make your property setter dependency injection mandatory so then where we have to apply that required annotation actually how many types of annotations are there annotations okay user defined and predefined based on place based on place we can say class level annotations property level annotation method level annotations there are three types of annotations if you want to keep your annotation on top of your class then that is class level annotation and if you want to apply only for your class declarations then for class declarations also you can apply so property level annotations and we have method level annotations also this required annotation is method level annotation so where we have to apply this for methods we have to apply this for methods we have to apply this for which method i need to apply this required annotation for your setter methods if you have four setter methods here from that four if you required only two setter methods for that two setter methods only you just apply required annotation if you have four setter methods here set a driver set url set user and set password for these two apply required annotation if you apply required annotation for these two methods then container will force us to pass only two values in that case you no need to apply any dependency checking from xml file in xml file you no need to apply any dependency checking if you go through annotations then in xml file you no need to apply any dependency check and it will force us to pass only two values driver and url only driver and url only you should pass in case if you want to make these two setters also mandatory then you can apply required for all these setter methods so by using at the rate required annotation also you can make your dependency injection mandatory which dependency injection mandatory by using required you can apply primitives and as well as secondaries you can apply this required for primitive setter methods and as well as secondary data type setter methods also so on top of your required setter method just you have to place a required annotation but to activate this required annotation to activate this required annotation to activate this required annotation without activating required annotation it will not execute so compulsory your ioc container need to create one class object before going to create your dao class object ioc container need to create one more class object that class will activate your required annotation so that activation class name is required annotation bean post processor required annotation bean post processor class object comes that you need to create through your ioc container we know right how to create objects just to declare you that bean class under bean tag yeah without instantiating required annotation bean post processor class this required annotation will not work so to use this required annotation compulsory you need to instantiate this class setter dependency injection mandatory setter dependency injection checking to do setter dependency injection checking this dependency checking concept we can use 
just add your IOC dependencies. Create two classes, car and engine. In car class, take two dependencies, car name and one engine dependency. And write setter methods here, set car name, set engine. And engine class, private string something model here so for these two classes if you want to apply dependency checking so for engine class which type of dependency injection it may require dependency checking simple is enough for engine class and for car class we have car name and engine so to make these two dependency injections all so for car class we can go through all dependency checking and for engine class simple is enough create resource open spring xml file create car class instance beans dot car so if you want to apply dependency checking here the attribute name is depend dependency hyphen check the default value is none so in case of none it is not mandatory no need to call any setter without calling any setter method you can create car class object it is possible it is valid so test it with none value go to car class write one method print method public void print data just print car name and engine dot get model here in engine class write one setter method and getter method we have setter write a getter yeah then try to load the document into container load it into container resources slash spring dot xml then try to get carbine then call finally c dot print data method run this okay anyways it is calling print method and there it is printing null value while calling null object dot get model here method null pointer exception we are getting so container it is not forcing us to pass any values right but if you apply here just I'll comment it if you apply dependency check simple then it is mandatory we must need to call we must need to call
विच सेटर मेथड सिंपल प्रेमेटिव सिंपल प्रेमेटिव सेटर मेथड कंपलसरी शुड कॉल हियर सो यू मस्ट नीड टू कॉल प्रॉपर्टी हियर प्रॉपर्टी नेम कार नेम एंड वैल्यू यू शुड पास ओके विदउट पासिंग दिस वैल्यू विदउट पासिंग दिस वैल्यू ट्राई टू लोड दिस डॉक्यूमेंट अगेन यू कैन रीड दिस एक्सेप्शन एक्सेप्शन नेम इज अनसेटिस्फाइड डिपेंडेंसी एक्सेप्शन एंड द रीजन अनसेटिस्फाइड डिपेंडेंसी expressed through bean property car name set this property value or disable dependency checking for this bean you need to set that property or else you need to disable dependency checking so pass that value car name value and run this then container will satisfy with your dependencies so by taking that car name it is creating instance of your bean class